Hey guys, it's me and today we're gonna be doing a failed misery part 2 and today I'm here with my friend in the chess pool and me in the la uh, in the not Lamborghini but a Corvette and the Corvette Corvette C8 um so yeah the one I did the classic classes with so yeah um uh, so I'm gonna be doing a failed misery part two or episode two and I hope you guys like it it's gonna be about drifting so someone commented how do you drift so i'm gonna be explaining how i drift what i drift and uh, what tune i use to drift and what cars so we have 150,000 uh credits to spend and we have to make our own car we have to buy a car not take a car from our garage so yeah and first, and first thing that came to my mind, I should go to the auction house. So anyway, yeah, that's my friend right there, and this is me without a number plate, illegal driving. Anyway, yeah. So um, yeah, let's go and make one. So I immediately went to the auction house and found such a great deal as you will see in a few seconds. And also, fun fact about this game: it has the Warthog from Halo which is wow anyway yeah i found a really good car and it's the um nissan 370z and as you can see i bought it for five fifty five thousand credits only which left me 98 95 credits to spare this was a huge improvement because it's auctioning i mean it's on sale on sale for 50 five hundred thousand i think yeah and then my friend got the same car so now you'll see what tune i'm using is from ken block sean you can also go search it up and it's seventy six thousand five hundred credits so that adds up seventy six thousand so um sixty one plus seven not six plus seven thirteen thirteen thousand no hundred and thirteen thousand one hundred credits i spent on this car and now i spent lots of time getting used to the car because again it's different and i have not done any any drift zones as you will see on my mini map maybe you'll see that it's new so yeah it's it's new i have never done this before not on a different account never ever so yeah i now spent the next 20 seconds or 10 minutes for you I mean 20 seconds for you and 10 minutes for me I fast forward it so yeah as you can see it was pretty fast the forward so fast forward so yeah and I fast forward it and spent 10 minutes just trying out the car going through stuff and so on so yeah now you will see me uh, go to our first speed zone near Casa Bella which is the first house that you get so uh, off I went and I told my friend to go there. I waited a long time for him because he was choosing his tune. He ended up choosing the same car as me because he wanted a different car than Sans 240Z, I think. And it was too much. So I just, uh, he copied me like he does and used my car with the same tune so it's now just who's the better drifter and he has never he hasn't drifted before in forza horizon 5 he's not good i mean so or average i would say because that's what i was um i i wasn't really good so yeah he did good for his um for his first attempt so yeah anyway he drifted we drift no i drifted and you will see the scores uh, and first thing is I don't like off-road drift zones neither does he so I did really bad here and only got 88,000 points but my next attempt was better so yeah uh, I tried my best uh, and yeah now you will see I went the other way and I gave him kind of lots of attempts because well he is new again to drifting so yeah but he has the Koenigsegg Jesko but I don't he has um other cars which I don't have he is he is almost to the hall of fame which I'm not 
So yeah, he is kind of better than me. As as you saw last time, he won. I did. So yeah, for the guy who asked how to drift, okay. So you need to get a car that can go sideways easily. Then you need to get a good tune, or if the car is good enough, fine. And in this case, if you're using this car, the Nissan 370Z or 350Z, if you're using this car, it's gonna be no problem to drift. Yeah, uh, and I got 50, and my friend got 58,000 points, and I got 98,000. Sadly, we don't have budgets to sell you that I got 58, but he did. Uh, so yeah, um. Yeah, so how to drift? So, to drift, all you have to do is get a good car that can go sideways, then get a good tune. If you don't want to get a tune and save money, you should just get a really good car that can go sideways or drift. Like this car, okay, with a tune. So, for this car. So, yeah, and after you've done that, just hold the E brake, and when you're turning like this, go the opposite way. So, it's gonna make, uh, like, and drift way like that so yeah that was gonna happen and that'll allow you to go sideways and also try don't go fully sideways go like um i'd say from 90 degrees to um 900. so 1920 degrees sideways you should go uh to drift it's a good thing it's gonna make you speed drift and yeah, that's a good way to drift. But when you cannot drift, you dab the e-brake. The e-brake is A on controller, the A button, the green one. So yeah, press that and you'll easily be able to go sideways. That's how you drift. It's, it's nothing complex, just need the good car. And um, like, look right now, I'm speed drifting. Like, it's what I call speed drifting. So yeah, look, I'm going really fast, not getting too many points, but yeah, it, it's good enough. So now, and this was uh, one, 0.9 miles, one mile, I think it was one mile, Um, we'll see right now. Uh, yeah, that's how long it was, and I almost lost my points here. So yeah, my my score is now 2 and my friend's uh, score is 0 because uh, my friend got 2,001, uh, I mean 122,001, he actually didn't get that, he got 122,000 something something, but then that was our first attempt, first attempt he got 122,000 something but he got less than me. And I got 100, 122,000 and something, and we got really interrupted by this. So yeah, on my second attempt, which I forgot to record, um, my second attempt, I got 158,000, and he got, again, 122,000. So, I'm not going to include that, because I didn't show you guys the footage, because screen recording, um, my space got filled up, so yeah, I wasn't recording. Anyway, yeah, now this is the third drift zone, and this was one mm, one mile yeah 0 0.9 miles one mile as you can see i'm getting lots of points i think it wasn't good enough because my friend he got 158,000 points on his second attempt and i got 158,000 on my first attempt i knew i could do better so i went for a rerun like i do i got three stars so yeah, um, I went and I went and I drifted and I love the scoreboard, a score on my thing on top, like side swipe and stuff, drift, e-brake. So yeah, that's how you know when I'm doing e-brake and when I'm doing drift. Look, I did not dab the e-brake then. So yeah, um, now I went and I tried going sideways, which I did. And as you can see, it was better than the first time. Not as good. I'm not really good in drifting, but I, I know the basics. I can do it. So, yeah. And I kept drifting and drifting. And as you can see there, I dabbed the e-brake because it's a good e-drift. 
I mean Egypt, so yeah. Like Egypt again, Great Egypt, Egypt. So yeah, I needed to dial the E break a lot here to maximize points. And this is where I maximized points the most. And I got 164,000, which made me win 3 nil, 3 0. Which that means I won. So yeah. I'm sorry, my friend. I will not mention your name. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you lost. You have to admit it. I am better at drifting, but you are better at tracing. Because you beat me last time. So yeah, facts. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want. Stay safe from Corona and the new virus. And see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.